Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ash. Happy Sunday. Today I am not duping a palette. I'm going to be making a condensed version of this palette and that is the NYX Utopia palette. Ultimate Utopia palette I think is what it's called. Um, I have really liked this palette for a while. Honestly, I don't even know if they still sell it. It's been around for a while if they are. Um, but I do really like it. It's just a really big palette. Um, and I would like to try to condense this down to 10 eyeshadows. And the reason I don't have any of my, my singles palettes in front of me is because I don't really know where to start. Um, I've got a picture of the palette pulled up in Microsoft Paint and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a shadow to start with that stands out to me. Um, I'm going to dupe that shadow or find, you know, a version of that shadow that I really like from my own collection and then I'm going to black out that eyeshadow and then I'm going to pick out the next thing that stands out to me and so on and so forth until I've completed my palette. So. Yeah, um, so the very first thing that is sticking out to me, I'm torn between that dark teal on the far right, like in the middle row, or the really light metallic looking green in the second row on the left, like the very, very far left. Um, they're both standing out to me, so I think I'm going to find dupes for both of these, but they're both equally fascinating to me in this palette. So let's start with that light metallic green. So these are my singles. Of course, I've got my palettes and things that I can pull from. Looking at it makes me think of Marvel from Tarte's Make Believe in Yourself palette. I really love this green and such a stunning metallic green. The one in the Ultimate Utopia palette looks a little bit cooler, a little bit more like spring green is how I would describe it, but I really like Marvel, so I might stick with that. We'll see. Could change my mind. Okay, and then next, let's do that teal. Because my teals are right here. The darkest one I have in here is this Beauty Bay one called Rich. But, you know what, actually, if you don't know, I've joined Project Level Up recently. I made a video talking about it and where I picked my palette, or rather the palette got picked for me. Um, if you want to check that out, it'll be up in the cards. But I've used the palette a few times since I started the project and I've been enjoying it and I've really been enjoying Lunar. I honestly think I'm going to hit pan on the shadow and I think this is going to be my focus shade. Um, to hit pan on and I think a great way to do that could also be bringing it into um, this palette. So you can see I've got a pretty significant dip like I don't know exactly how to show you but I'm pretty close I think to hitting pan closer than any of the other shades but yeah yeah, that's the teal I want. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, the next thing that stands out to me that I want, hmm, like that light sage green that was next to the metallic green that I just duped, or it was inspired by, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, it's such an interesting kind of sage green. It's a little bit murky, but still looks kind of light. You know what? It's making me think of... It's 
making me think of this screen from the child palette from ColourPop. It's called Float Your Crib. But the one in the NYX palette looks a little bit lighter, which I like. So let me see if I have something else that's a bit more fitting. Okay, I'm a little bit torn because I do have that Float Your Crib shade right here, but I swatched, what are you? Dementh and Chill Factor from the Meant To Be palette. And Dementh is right here, Chill Factor is here. And I like them all. <laughs> They're all a little bit grungy, but still kind of minty green. Well, I mean, um, Float Your Crib is more of a grungy olive green, but I don't know. I like the idea of having both Float Your Crib and Chill Factor in here. Because Chill Factor is a little bit more blue, and I feel like that could work really well with Lunar but it could also pair really well with Float Your Crib. I like how that looks. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to keep both of those in for now. I might take that back, but for now I want both of them in the palette. Okay, and then the next thing catching my attention is this burnt orange um, second row from the bottom on the far left. It's like a soft kind of burnt orange. Let's see, which one was it? I'm... Um, I think it was you. Are you Sunrise? You are. This is Sunrise from Beauty Bay's Wilderness Palette. Yeah, I think that's really pretty with everything else we got going on in here. So Sunrise is in. And then, let's see, we're up to five shades. Honestly, I could even make this a 15 pan palette but I am gonna try to keep it to 10. We'll see, we will see. Next, I think these three shades, so it's the second to last shade in the top row, and then the two that are immediately below that one, so like that bright matte periwinkle looking shade that kind of faded teal and actually it looks like a teal and actually I could say that um, I'm going to use chill factor for that shade that kind of matte grayish blue let's just do that and then right below that is kind of a faded muted metallic like grungy teal that I really like the look of. Um, but I don't know if I have anything quite like that. Hmm. Okay. I don't really have anything quite like this. This is like, it's kind of greenish teal is a little bit deeper than anything that I have that's like the same kind of tone. I just don't have anything that's quite that deep, but that's okay. Um, I can see what else I've got that might work. I don't really use a shadow all that much. This is Galaxy from Urban Decay's Moondust palette. It's really pretty. also just go for it and do a really deep dark teal the 
This is Tulum from Hip Dot's Sinope palette. Although, well, you know, I really haven't used these moon dust shadows in a while. And I feel like it would fit the vibe of what I'm going for. So let's do this one. And do I still want that bright periwinkle looking shade? It could add an interesting pop to the palette. And it could also make an interesting blending shade. So. So in the swatch photo that I have, this shade looks kind of more grayish blue than blue, or like periwinkle, more grayish is what I'm trying to say. I do have this, ooh, yes, I think that'll be perfect. I, I tend to overlook this shade when I'm looking for something like this because next to all these other blues, it kind of just looks like a gray and you don't really see the amount of blue that's actually in it. This is Blessing from the Zoeva Aristo palette. It's a really nice shade. I really like the Zoeva shadows. I just, I don't know. I tend to overlook that one quite a bit. Okay, we're getting down to the not so interesting stuff. Um, let's see. There is what looks like it would be a really textured gold, but in the swatch photo, it doesn't really look all that interesting. Um, it's like in the second row and towards the middle. And I am thinking of a very specific shade. Hold on. I'm thinking of Super Stardust from the ColourPop She's Got Solstice palette. I love this shade. It's so flaky and textured and it's a really nice color. Like, look how textured that looks. Oh, it's pretty. And I really, it's a little bit difficult to work with, but it is very worth it, I think. And so I would want that in here. My impulse right now is to bring in more stuff that I could use with the oranges, but I'm just going to keep going with things that have caught my attention and that all of the green in the third row towards the middle is really calling out to me. Like I need something like that in here. And I do have this shade. This is Lime from Beauty Bay from the Wilderness palette. I think that's too green for me. I want something a little bit more, like, something more gold, I guess. It's a little bit closer. This is All of You from ColourPop's Just My Luck palette. It's a little bit closer. I always forget how good Chantilly is. This is Chantilly from Blend Money's Dollhouse palette. I gotta put that in, I've got to. I can't ignore something so beautiful. So I shan't. Ooh, and that would look really cool with um, Float Your Crib, that's what it was called. Very nice, okay. And then, let's see. I feel like I kind of got this deep, dark, 
purplish blue covered. It's the next thing um, that's catching my eye. I feel like I have that covered in Galaxy, even though I'm, you know, I'm using it for that other much lighter shade. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it would just be a bit repetitive to include something else like that. So we're going to skip that. And then, let's see. Honestly, the thing catching my eye is this, it's in the middle row, third one from the right, this really dark, rich brown, but it also looks kind of red. It looks like a really deep, brickish red. Yeah, something like this, like grunge from the Surge palette by Blend Bunny. I think that's perfect, actually. So I could fit two more shades in here very, very easily, or I could fit a whole other row if I wanted to. But I really do think maybe adding another row would be a mistake. Yeah, I think that would be a mistake. However, I do think I want to add in two more shades. Um, and the shades I want to add... I want to add in something that's kind of a cross between that lighter ashy purple and the darker almost blackened purple I'm seeing. They're like on the right hand side of the palette, um, either on top or below that reddish brown that I just uh, picked a shade for. Okay, looking at the swatch photo, yeah, you know what, I'm, there's, there's a shade that I want, hold on, there's a very specific shade that I want. I want this, I want silver lining from ColourPop. Do I want that? I was thinking it looked a bit grayer than it actually does. Yeah, no, that's not what I want. Okay, I thought it looked different than it does. So I changed my mind. That's not what I want. I just want like a taupe. Um, that's Attic from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse. Is that what I want? Yeah, you know what? They're giving me more of a taupey vibe. Like maybe slightly purple, which this one is. This is more of what I thought silver lining was. Yeah. And then lastly, I want to include a taupey kind of shimmer. There's like, on the end of the second row, on the right end of the second row, there's the shade that looks like it might be kind of a taupey metallic. And I feel like, Yes, 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 yes. I want to include Trance from Tarte's Make Believe in Yourself. That is what I want. 
Ooh, yes. Okay, I think that did it. This is the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my arm up and we'll do some proper swatches. All right, there you have it. This is my condensed version of the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. I love it. I really love it. This is such a good palette. Man, I really like how this came out. Um, and I cannot wait to use this on my face. I do wanna do some videos using it. Um, but yeah, I couldn't be more pleased with how this came out. This is such a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. But yeah. All right. That is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun doing this one. Um, much better than how my uh, Stone Vibes dupe ended up going. Um, since I didn't even end up with a dupe of the Stoned Vibes palette at the end. It was more of an inspired uh, palette. But if you want to check that out, I'll leave it up in the cards. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and for joining me. Um, I do hope you enjoyed. And I hope that you are having a great weekend. A great end to your weekend. And I will see you when I see you. Bye!